Hi guys, it's Flaws and this is Flaws' Corner where I talk about mostly cross-stitch but sometimes I might also show you other things that I enjoy doing. In today's video, I will be doing a Gecko Rouge unboxing and first impression video and yes, this is a parcel that I received before Christmas last year. If you're interested, then keep watching. Instead of just doing a traditional unboxing video, I thought I would talk a bit about the company first and then we can go on um, to the computer and um, check the ordering process, um, check their website. And then I'll tell you about my personal experience doing this purchase and then we can do the unboxing. So um, I will divide this video into chapters and the chapters will be down in the description box. You know where it is. Um, so let's just get into it. So let's talk about Gecko Rouge as a company first. And I've got my notes here on my iPad. Um, it is a small company based in UK that does hand-packed kits. So all their kits are made to order. I first got to know Gecko Rouge maybe about a year um, since I started stitching, so 2021. I think they're famous for their Medusa doll maker um, chars that unfortunately have been retired. So the entire line is gone. Um, the reason being um, the owner of the company was not excited about the fact that I think it's been years since um, they had a new design from this line. So they decided to get rid of the whole thing and let new artists and new designs in. So as far as I know, they only sell um, full coverage cross stitches. Um, so there's no back stitch involved and all that. And it is a company that does not sell their charts separately, which means if you do want their design, you have to get kits. You don't have any other options. You can modify on what kind of fabrics you want and that kind of changes the price a little bit. But other than that, you, yeah, there's no option to just get the charts because um, that way they can protect their artist's work. So that means when you get your charts, you don't get your um, thread numbers. It's just one, two, three, four, till however many colors that are involved in the charts. Um, I think I haven't seen many, I guess, stolen cross-stitch charts from Gecko Rouge, I can't say they don't exist. It's just harder to do because yeah, you don't know exactly how they're charted. Um, they use DMC, the real DMC threads. And unfortunately, the threads are quite expensive in the UK. So that, I think, largely contributed to the high costs involved in getting one of those. Um, so their normal processing time of their orders is about four to six weeks and they do have random express kits and they call it Gecko Express on their website and um, those ones are partially packed so then they can dispatch faster. Um, they also have an Etsy shop. I think their Etsy shop has less choices in terms of which you can order. Um, if you look at the price, so if you compare the prices um, in the Etsy shop and also on their websites, um, the Etsy shop's prices, the Etsy shop prices tend to be a bit higher. Um, I read on their website it's because, so Etsy as a company charges, I think, selling fee and listing fees and that's the information I got from someone else. Um, and also the exchange rates um, change all the time. And Rex is on the move because it's a very hot day. So don't mind him. 
Um, I think the kits on Etsy are partially kitted up because um, they generally have like a dedicated fabric already in the title. So if you click onto one of them, it will say the processing time generally is about seven days. Um, so I'm assuming the fabric's already cut for the chart, um, but maybe they still have to kit up the, the threads and whatnot. Um, and then we can talk about Gecko Gold. I didn't know too much about that, um, but I was curious. So I ended up checking on Reddit to figure out what that was. It's actually a subscription service, which is full already. So you can't join that anymore, but you might be able to join a waiting list. So um, on Reddit, someone said, after you have subscribed for six months, you get a voucher that equals to the same amount of your subscription fee of six months. And you can use that voucher to purchase their kits. And also you get 10% discount. Um, so the members also have member ex exclusive designs, which means like the normal consumers don't get access to those. Um, and there's also a Facebook group that's exclusive to those members. Um, I think on there, uh, people get notified on exciting news, like um, which artists are coming on board and which are the new designs that will be available soon, stuff like that. So in terms of my personal experience with the purchase, um, I purchased it 21st of October, almost midnight. Um, I think that was a Sunday, if I do, if I remember correctly. And we're talking about 2023, obviously. Um, and um, I chose the PDF chart, so I don't get a paper chart. Um, and I read on the website, so the once your order has been processed, you should get a confirmation email that has a link. Um, when you click on the link, you should be able to download your PDF. But when I got my confirmation email, there was no link whatsoever. So I thought, hmm, something's not quite right. But I won't just contact them straight away. I'll just wait for a bit. And then nothing happened for quite a few days. So I thought, there's still no link. There's no second confirmation email that rectified it. So I would contact them. So I ended up contacting them on 26th. Um, which was a Thursday, um, saying like, you know, there's no link. I can't, I, like, I haven't got my PDF yet. Is there another email that I haven't received? Yada, yada, yada. And then I got a reply on 1st of November, which was a Wednesday. So I got a reply um, almost a week, so six days later. Um, and I remember they were saying, uh, for some reason, like there's a, that there's a problem with the link and here it is, sorry about that. So then I got my PDF chart without any more problem. Um, so then my kit was shipped on 18th of November and I received it on 7th of December. So it fits the lead time of four to six weeks. So in terms of the price, um, my design was Gamer or Gamer Novo by Medusa Dollmaker. Um, and yeah, it's been retired, but the price was 152 point blah, blah pounds, um, which uh, was 305, yeah, 305 Australian dollars, if you must know. Um, and um, yeah, overall it's, it's been processed pretty, I guess, fast. Like the time frame fits whatever they promised and it wasn't a very busy time. So overall, everything went pretty smooth. Okay, so now let's have a look at the Gecko Rouge website. Um, we'll just check out 
whatever's there and randomly pick one. We can see the ordering process. And yes, Australian internet is very slow if you haven't realized that yet. Lucky us. Okay, we're finally here. Let's, for example, let's look at Baby Bat's bedtime. I mean, how cute is that? So when you want to order it, you can see the website gives you the basic information and from this you'll know which count gives you what kind of sizes the for and your end results and you go with fabric first clearly 28 uh, you get thread enough for your one over one and the 25 count two over one 18 generally is two over one and 14 is two over one as well um, on the website it also said somewhere else that if you want um, I think 25 maybe one over one I suppose you might be able to contact them for that just keep that in mind and then you can choose whether you just want PDF pattern, which will not give you extra cost, or you want printed paper pattern, um, which gives you five extra pounds. I was thinking about whether to do a paper pattern for mine because I have, I don't know, like if, if I can pass it on whenever this is done, it will be cool, but no one will be able to use the paper pattern anyway because, you know, there's no um, thread number associated with the colours. So. so I just opted for PDF pattern, which can be read um, by my Markup RxP anyway. And gift, bo gift box with ribbon or cellophane bag. I think, I thought gift box would charge extra um or maybe you just want a cellophane bag if you don't really care about packaging and the matching needle minder if you want one it's 550 extra pounds and you can also get a mystery um needle minder if you don't care about um you know the matchy matchy then it's slightly cheaper and then you would get your final cost here. So 74, 55 pounds. Or if you don't want needle miters at all, that. Um, the one over one is possibly the cheapest option because there's not a, as much thread involved in the purchase. And then it just gets more and more expensive because the fabric is bigger and also you use a lot more threads, for example. There you go. 98.25. So yeah, that's pretty much the process. Um, yeah, there's the Gecko Express that I've talked about. So right now you have three options. And yeah, there's the Gold Club exclusive kits. So these ones are only for the club members. We can't get them. But yeah, this is pretty much the ordering process. And I think it's time to open the box. Now I chose this gift wrapping. Um, you can also choose the cellophane which um, costs less uh, but I thought since I'm making an unboxing video I would want this gift box. So there's this red bow and it's taped both sides. There you go the gecko rouge and um, we should open the box. I just cut the two stickers off camera and now we can open this oh my god 
There we are. So, oh, hello. There's a li little, what is it called? Chameleon or lizard. Like a little charm thing. And, oh, I'm sorry, I have to open this. Sheesh. Yeah, I remember on the website it says they would include this um, detailed uh, preview so you know exactly what you're stitching. And there is like a simple instruction in there. And also, these are the threads. See, so it kind of gives you an indication what kind of color it is for each symbol. It is very clear. And this gamer has 99 colors. So that's the symbol cards. Okay. And that's the threads. So the um, option I chose was 28 count one over one. And um, I think I've never stitched 28 count one over one yet. So this should be interesting. And um, yeah, I bought this gamer. <sighs> wow. Oh yeah. I bought, oh, wow. I bought this um, needle minder because I thought, considering its size, it's going to take a long time. I might as well get something that's specific to this kit. And it's big and it's quite strong. Okay. There we are. Yep, this little bag. And... These are the threads. Okay. So supposedly the fabric you get is quite generous. You're supposed to have six inch altogether excess fabric. Um, so you have plenty for your frames when you stitch and also frames when you finish. So that's... Um, pre-gridded fabric and these are the threads so that's all cut to length and the symbols all printed and I like this way because the way I normally stitch is I use a needle to pick out um, the strand I need so when it's looped over, it's much easier for me to do that. Um, personally, I don't like the kits that have the thread like wounded onto a card because then I have to cut and then take one strand out or two strands or however many, and then I have to rewind the rest of them. Um, and there's the needle that's included in here. That's just John James. So these are the colors that I'll be working with. It's all packed eh, pretty neat generally, but clearly it's packed by hand because it's not perfect. But yeah, nothing wrong with that. Look at that. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Five cards or six? Six cards. Whoa. Wow. Oh. And some excess ones there. Jeez. I wonder what color that. Oh, I know what color that is. It's this one, the background one. Wow, that's a, that, that, that's a lot I have to work with. And then some excess ones here too. Great. So 
So when I do need to stitch this, I just need this. Oh, now I already messed it up. It was packed so nice before. Sorry. But yeah, everything's here. It's quite good. It is very detailed though. Because yeah, I don't normally um, print a preview out. And here you can see the size. So that's 370 by 534. And on 28 count, this is how big it will be. It's really cool. But yeah, it's such a pity that um, they don't keep this anymore. But yeah, you can look on the website for something else you might enjoy. And yeah, I hope this one was helpful. I just thought since it's it's a pretty expensive purchase, you might want to know what you're getting and what kind of service you're getting as well, not just a product. Um, I don't know when I will start stitching this, but once I started, I might be able to give you an update in terms of the charting, the looks of it, um, also like whether this setup is working, um, also how well this needle minder performs. Um, I think that's the end of the video. Let me know whether you want me to test anything out because I'm hoping um, in the future, I get to review more things and more importantly, I will be reviewing things that you want me to review um, that might help you in some way. So yeah, that's the end of the video and hope to see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Flaws. And this is Floz's Corner where I talk about mostly cross stitch, but sometimes I'll <laughs> new anymore. The doggies. It's hot. I think Rick's gonna lie down in the video. On camera. You'll be able to see it. <sighs> you can include the clip of it. This is a difficult video, isn't it? It's all over there, okay. Mate, can you just... <laughs> Can I finish this video? Are we all going to shut up for a bit and let mommy talk?